Hi, our reading for today is Duck for President by Doreen Cronin. Running a farm is very hard work. At the end of each day, Farmer Brown is covered from head to toe in hay, horsehair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. He doesn't smell very good either. The animals have chores to do. Pigs clean under your beds. Cows weed the garden. Sheep sweep the barn. Duck take out the trash. Mow the lawn and grind the coffee beans. At the end of each day, the pigs are covered in lint bunnies, the cows are covered in weeds, the sheep are covered in dust, and duck is covered in tiny bits of grass and espresso beans. Duck did not like to do chores. He did not like picking tiny bits of grass and espresso beans out of his feathers. Why is Farmer Brown in charge anyway, thought Duck. What we need is an election. He made a sign and hung it up in the barn. Farmer Brown must go. Farm election tomorrow. The next morning, Farmer Brown found a poster on his front door. Vote for Duck for a kinder, gentler farm. Farmer Brown was furious. He ran to the barn and found the animals registering the vote. A voter registration. Voters must live on the farm and show an ID. And looks like Duck is crossing out at be at least this tall, or maybe he's drawn a line, be at least this tall. <laughs> the mice got together and protested the height requirements, so Duck crossed it off. On election day, each of the animals filled out a ballot and placed it in a box. The vote was counted and the results were posted in the barn. Farmer Brown six, Duck 20. Running a farm, oh, oh I skipped the page, the page sorry. Farmer Brown demanded a recount. One sticky ballad was found on the bottom of the pig. <gasps> the new tally was Farmer Brown 6, Duck 21. The voters had spoken. Duck was officially in charge. <sighs> Running a farm is very hard work. At the end of the day, Duck was covered from head to toe in hay, horse hair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. Running a farm is not fun at all, thought Duck. Vote for me. I'm a duck, not a politician. That night, Duck and his staff started working on Duck's campaign. Now he wants to run for governor. Duck left Farmer Brown in charge and hit the campaign trail. He visited small town diners. He marched in parades, vote for Duck. He went to town meetings, and he even gave speeches. The vote was counted and the results were posted in the local paper. Duck wins by a nose for governor all over the state. The governor demanded a recount. Two sticky ballots were found stuck to the bottom of two pancake plates. Ms. Governor with 299,999 votes and Duck with 300,002 votes. The voters had spoken. Duck was officially in charge. That is a new tally. Where well, they tallied those votes up. Running a state is very hard. Each day, the duck was covered from head to toe in hairspray, ink stains, scotch tape, fingerprints, mayonnaise, coffee stains. He had a very bad headache. Running a state is no fun at all. Now he started to work on his presidential campaign. And he's going to run for president. He was in charge. He had people in charge of the campaign trail. He kissed babies. He rode in parade. He gave speeches. And he even played the saxophone on late night television. Man, that duck is so silly. On election day, the voters filled their ballots in the ballots box across the country, and the votes were counted and they were announced on CNN. Mr. President had 50,546,165, and Duck had 50,546,170. The president demanded a recount. Ten sticky ballots were found stuck to the bottom of the vice president. The new tally... Duck won. He was officially in charge. Running a country is very hard work. At the end of the day, Duck was covered with face powder, paper cuts. He had secret service agents, coffee stains, and he had a very bad headache. Running a country is not easy. So he decided he wanted to go back to the farm. So he went back to the farm and did his duties, and he helped Farmer Brown at the farm, and then he eventually wrote an autobiography.